I love the story of their proposal. The thing that was the most precious and the cutest thing that happened in that event was when Tegan was asked to tell what happened. She said that me and my daddy are Mary and Bailey. Tegan, today is about how much I love you and your daddy. I wasn't there for some of your first, but I promised to be there for the rest of them. Oh, you look so pretty. It isn't just your daddy I promise my forever to, but I give my forever to you also. Bailey, when you entered my life, I didn't think I was ready for what I felt. But as our friendship grew, I knew that I needed you in my life, and I needed you to stay. You have filled the spot in mine and Tegan's life in a way that I feared was impossible. Accepting me into your parental role with Tegan is the highest form of flattery I will ever receive. My life is now abundantly filled with memories and laughs I have shared with you and your most valuable treasure. There are things in this life I have achieved that make me proud. However, earning your love and trust will forever be the achievement I am most proud of. Being at your side will always be enough. On this day, your mommy and daddy have said it was okay that I get to be by your side as your cheerleader, teacher, and someone that will always cherish you forever. I want you to know that you are one of the best things to ever happen to me, and my feelings for you are unconditional. You are so very special to me. You are better than any dream I've ever had. Thank you for your love, and I am so glad that I'll get to be your Bailey for the rest of my days. For Bailey, I wanted someone who would appreciate my sister's sense of humor, her inner and outer beauty, and love her selflessly. With the long list of expectations of who is deserving of my sister's love, you, Mike, are so much more than anyone I ever could have imagined for my sister. Eternity never seems long enough when I think about time with you. Being with you is the most natural feeling I've ever known. I knew I loved you before I ever let you know. I was scared of how much I needed you. I feared losing independence in my voice and maybe even my job. <laughs> so, we met at work. I was a brand new nurse with very little experience. She had a patient that was very out of control. She could not handle. I went out into the hallway thinking, please, someone be here to help me. <laughs> and here's Michael nonchalantly walking down the hallway. <laughs> and he was like, you need help? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I like to think that I came to her rescue, kind of like a damsel in distress type of thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, baby. One time I was like, hey, we should go on a vegan date together. And he said, <laughs> no, you <laughs> do not say that word again. And I was like, Wait, date or vegan? <laughs> I knew Mike was the one after they had been dating for a few months and my vegetarian sister called me in a panic asking me how to cook meatloaf. I was thinking, you know, I was like totally in love with him, but I didn't know if he felt the same way. Whenever I saw her interacting with my daughter, it made me realize I was not going to find someone else that treated her the same way that she does. And so it really let me know that I need to grab on to her. Yep. I just want you to know, Michael, how proud your dad and I are of you. To watch 
you and Bailey come together and continue to better yourselves with each other in mind and this one in mind. I, I just love it. I've always said you were perfect. <laughs> Bailey, he is. <laughs> and I am so happy that you found the perfect woman to be with. My soul became alive when I met you. You are without a doubt the spark I needed. You are my safe place. You are my slice of heaven. I'm constantly amazed by how big your heart is, how well our humor matches up, how your laugh warms my heart, and how you are able to turn down bacon. <laughs> I can't promise you that in our life together I will always get it right. I can't promise my cooking will get any better. And I can't promise that I will ever sleep under the sheets. I do, however, promise to always be your biggest supporter. You will never carry the weight of your worries alone. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss the bride. For the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Michael Rowlett. I vow to be there for you through the laughs, through the tears, to always stand by your side through difficult times, and I will cherish the life we have together. Love is a choice, and on this day I choose you. I choose to love you every day after and for the rest of my life. <laughs>